What's up, if you have opinions? Today we're doing a little math Monday looking at x linked Punnett squares using the 2019 number three question. Now we don't actually need the probability rules in order to do this question, but I did want to take a moment to refresh us on them. So if the probability of A and B are mutually exclusive, then we're going to find the probability of A or B is equal to probability of A plus probability of B. This would be like if we're looking at uh, the probability of being a uh, dominant phenotype in complete dominance. Well, that would be the probability of being dominant, homozygous dominant and the probability of being heterozygous because those would add together to give you the um, dominant phenotype in that uh, case. And if A and B are independent, then that would be the probability of A and B is equal to probability of A times probability of B. These are usually two independent events. So if we're looking at having cinnabar eyes and vestigial wings, those are not actually dependent on each other, so you would multiply those probabilities together. So they give us a little bit of background talking about this pyruvate dehydrogenase complex, which we really don't need to know that for this question. So then they go on to tell us that it's caused by mutation in a certain gene, which is located on the X chromosome, a male with a PDC deficiency, and a female that is homozygous with no family history, and they have a male offspring. We want to calculate the probability that the male offspring will have this deficiency. So I went ahead and made this recessive, but there's no actual information in the question that would have told us either way. Um, but it actually doesn't matter when you finally see the answer. <laughs> um, so if we put our male here, the male has the trait. Um, and then the female, of course, does not have that trait on there. OK, um, so we would see, OK, well, if I cross these, that would give me a female that is heterozygous. And then there's a male that does not have it. And I see another female that's heterozygous and then a male that also does not have it. And so I want to calculate the probability of the male offspring. Well, my male offspring, they got their exes from the mother. And so there's actually a 0% chance that that um, affected male is going to pass it on to its male offspring. So I hope that was helpful. Remember, if you have a just to satisfy y'all.